Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm checking out the Carson Micro RC Bike. And I know what you're thinking, this is not a product you'd expect to see on my channel, but let me explain. First of all, we have the indoor sports hall rented out for tonight and the weather is currently doing this, which it has done for most of the year. Second of all, I've always found speed thrilling, but I wasn't allowed a full-size motorbike when I was younger. And as I've gotten older, I'm more and more grateful for this, because while bikes do fascinate me, I could only speak to people who rode them. And I'd always ask the question, have you ever had any accidents? And nine times out of ten, I wouldn't get a vocal response initially. Instead, they would either lift up a sleeve or a leg and then explain to me how many pins are holding their body together. And I know that would be me because I push everything to the absolute limit. That's not to say I'm not jealous of you guys with bikes because if I could be sensible, then it would definitely be my thing. This is why I'm so glad there are RC planes and FPV, otherwise I probably wouldn't be here. The third reason is my friend Andy very kindly let me have a go of his Sky RC SR5 bike, which you may have seen on the channel, and if you haven't, I'll put a card up in the corner so you can watch it. I absolutely loved it and instantly wanted one. The only problem is they are about 270 GBP. However, last week, another chap in our club named Phil bought this model and let me have a go of it. And before he had even sat down on the other side of the sports hall after me having a go of it, I had already bought one on my phone because this one only costs 22 GBP, but it still has a gyro in the back wheel to keep it upright and it even has suspension. So for the guys in the UK, I got this one from a company called Wheel Spin Models and you can buy them everywhere in Europe, but I tried to find some shops selling them for you guys in the USA and other regions and I couldn't find any. However, there are multiple versions of them on AliExpress. So I'll put a link in the description of this video if you are interested in them. Banggood have something similar called the Treble 3 MT-01B and it claims to be faster than the Carson at 22 kph where the Carson's approximate speed is listed as 15 kph. I don't think the Banggood model uses a gyro in its wheel though and it's one of the aspects of the Carson that fascinates me and how it uses it to balance the model when it's riding along. So this is the bike out of its box and it comes with this stand. Now if you aren't familiar with this area of the hobby then the stand isn't there to keep it upright while it launches. It's actually for it to sit when you turn it on because the gyro in there will spool up as soon as you turn it on and the wheel will start to move. So you'll notice if you put it in the stand the wheel can move but the model won't move anywhere. So I'm going to go through the specs of the model just like I would a normal quadcopter review. So its length is 110 millimeters, the height is 75 millimeters, and its wheelbase is 80 millimeters. And it says the runtime is around about seven to eight minutes. And as I mentioned earlier, its approximate speed is 15 kph and its weight is 90 grams. Now for subscribers of my channel to give an indication of its scale, this is a 65 millimeter tiny whoop. So you can see it is very small indeed. And that was its appeal to me, but you still need quite a big area such as an indoor sports hall to get it going or if you go to a supermarket car park on a Sunday when it's closed, well, closed here in the UK, then it's good in those sorts of situations as well. 
You can see that we've got these two rods that stick out of the side and this is to stop it falling completely flat on its side when you are doing turns otherwise it gets stuck all of the time so it just pops back up like that. You can see the suspension bobbing up and down as well so back and front. It comes with a 120 milliamp 1S LiPo with a PH2 connector and those are silicon wires and it has got a Carson logo on there but it also mentions Tamiya and I think Carson is a German offshoot of Tamiya and I've definitely heard of those before. On the side of the bike is a little hatch and a screw which you have to undo and the LiPo fits in there. You're also given a US USB charger and the instructions say not to use a charger other than this one but with it being a PH2 connector I've got lots of tiny whoop chargers so I can't see a problem with using those chargers I'll just have to charge it at a low C rating with it being just 120 milliamps so I've removed the screw to fit the LiPo and it's good news because the panel stays in place when you remove it. So I imagine they've just had to put a screw in there to classify it as a toy. But it means that I'm not going to have to put the screw in and take it out every time I want to recharge the battery. Instead, there's this little lever on the side which you have to pull and even then it's still quite tight to get the panel out then that reveals the ph2 connector so this is going to be a little bit fiddly but you're gonna want to put that in first because we've got this little tab on the battery and that's how you're gonna get the battery out so that's hopefully going to slide all the way into the model yep slides in really far actually and then if I get this panel might be tricky to get back in actually nope there we go so brilliant all ready to go so the controller is pretty straightforward as well now I'm new to this but it's something that I've learnt you can either have it as a lefty or a righty so you can switch the turn dial to the other side. Now I'm left handed for writing but it turns out that I am a righty when it comes to turning with these models and it just clicks for left and right which seems kind of toyish but actually it's the throttle that determines how tight your turn is so there's no need for a potentiometer there you just need left and then you use the throttle to control how quickly it turns so you've got an on and off button there that is your throttle that is your brake we have got a fast mode and we've also got a slow mode so yeah I think that is just a cap that comes off there and you literally just pull that off and put it on the other side if you want to hold it that way but that way feels so unnatural to me for some reason but I play guitar right-handed I open doors right-handed so what's that called ambidextrous or something like that so you have to put two batteries in this and we've got another screw so let me take this screw out and see if we can get away without having to keep that in at the same time. So I've taken the screw out and it's not budging so more good news it says press on there so I'm gonna have to press pretty hard oh and look at that it's got batteries in there I did not expect that let's have a look what it says so yeah I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but it says do not recharge but that is awesome because I didn't think it would come with all of the batteries necessary so it really is RTR which stands for ready to run I am learning a lot today so let me get these batteries out of this wrapping which I imagine stops them from powering up while it's in transit I've just found this secret compartment in the back of the controller for storing the bikes lipo in so that's really cool as well. This is a bargain for the price. 
The transmitter and receiver are running on the 2.4 gigahertz band. There's no information online on the range of the model, but when I had a go of this guy last week, it would do the full length of the sports hall, and with this thing being so tiny, that is plenty of range. I know what you are thinking, can this thing be FPV'd? And do you know what? I think it can. This head is a little bit loose, so that could be something interesting to go into at a later date. And also, there is a trim lever on here, but it's not for the steering, it's actually for the power. So let's give a little demo. So I'm going to turn the controller on, and then underneath here, flip the switch, and you can hear the gyro spooling up. Now the wheel is only moving very slightly, but I imagine if I move the trim that the wheel will start to change speed. Yeah, there you go, look. So the trim is actually for the throttle and not the steering. Right, let's go for the Maiden with this guy. You might be able to spot a slight problem, but we do have some different coloured... What are these called? These... Balls. Balls. <laughs> Outriggers. Outriggers. Ah, Outriggers. see, I'm learning all of the time. Right, so this is turned on, and then turn the gyro on. How long do you have to wait? Also, what about where do you have the trim as well, by the way? Is that in a good... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've just, so do you have it just so that, so like that, yeah. I've got it on yeah. slow at first, so yeah, right. let's try it like that. It's going, it's going, I'm doing it, I tell you what, slow, that's not slow, is it? Right, let's do, I'm going to do my CBT first. <laughs> so what is it, around the cones? I'm doing it. I, 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 I promise you, I promise you. This is the first go, I promise. This is on the slow set. This is on the slow setting as well. What am I doing? Round that one. And then round. I can't see that one. Inside this one. Well, inside. Yeah, this way. What do you mean? Yeah. What, like that? <laughs> this is brilliant. I tell you what, I can see myself buying a bigger one of these. This is. Sl I wonder what happens if you switch from from slow to fast. Right, slow. <laughs> Fast. Let's see what the difference between slow and fast is. So full, be full beans. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's still it's still accelerating. That is. Oh, I forgot it's stuck yet. No, just give it right. Full go. Wow, that that's still accelerating. There's not enough room for it to. Oh, there we go. It's coming straight at us. <laughs> I wonder, oh. wonder if you can get it slow and then get it. Do you know if they've got um, brushed motors? I imagine it's a brushed motor rather than brushless at this size, yeah. yeah. No, I don't, it's, it's, de it's, de it's definitely not me. This is, this is like my second go of one of these things. Brilliant though, for that price as well. I mean, that's what, that's what attracted me when I saw that. Yeah. Uh, 24, no, 22 this one was. 22? Yeah, from, yeah. maybe they had a, a deal on or yeah. something. I remember, I just saw the price and I thought, well, it's going to be weird to go, right? 
Yeah, get yours, get yours turned on now. See, see what happens. Oh, getting a bit too close to you there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just having to do little corrections. I want. I wonder if that. Oh, you've got it on fast mode as well, Phil. Yeah. All right, come on, drag race. Come on. <laughs> are you stuck? On, are you stuck on something? Watch out! <laughs> Mine's the one that I'm... Oh, look at that. So much power, it's taken the cone out. Right, where are you? Oh, oh, I don't know which one's mine. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whichever one you turn, that's yours. <laughs> yeah, just small little adjustments. Yeah, it's very critical, isn't it? Yeah. But what I was saying is, though, you don't need like a potentiometer to turn it because the tighter you turn, you sort of slow down on the throttle, don't you? You don't need the brake either. I'm not using the brake, so I'm trying to get alongside you so we can do a bit of a bit of a drag race. See if you can get it. Where are you? There you go. Oh, you're, you're there. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, on the way back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's back. It's back. And she's off. Man, there are helicopters, planes, and everything going on here. See if I can follow the plane as it's in its high alpha. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Look at that showing off. Well, I can't keep up with him. I think I've got him on acceleration, but once he's moving in the air. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you give us a push? <laughs> Cheers. This is me now. Just walk right out the door Don't want to do this anymore Now I'm lost without you You drive me crazy out my mind How'd you do this every time? Now I'm lost without you You still be the one I talk to when I'm sad can you see that tainted love is all we have? Our issues run so deep, now when I try to sleep I feel so bad I should leave and by the time it's done I'll be
distant when you're home Always hanging by your phone Do I even know you? And I get paranoid sometimes Cause I know that you ain't mine And I'm lost without you 